so now going back to sublime where our folder is created now we still need few folders so we're going back to my original uh, file we are going to copy and paste gulp file so copying this and pasting it in the housing folder so paste it right there we also need the file partial so we can copy that and paste it is inside of source right there so we can actually see that both the hierarchy looks almost the same it is the same so that means we are not missing out on anything which is perfect so now we can go ahead and close this and um, hit yes because we modified that we modified the housing right here and now we are going to edit the index.html file and along with this we also need to edit in the gulp file so inside of the gulp file this is the existing data we don't need this so we can go ahead and clear this out I'm going to just leave the first one for reference because everything is similar so just copy and paste from the second one all the way down and hit backspace yeah. so the task there's only one task here and it is index so whatever the name that you give here has to be matching right here as well this file which is called as index final.html you'll be able to see once this file has been run on powershell and you'll be able to see that in the dist file because it is the final file and then you'll be able to see all the changes that you have done to your file in sublime now let's learn how to change these text and images and make this dynamic so let's go right ahead with that so now you would have already seen that there's already one but this is very irrelevant because it has no connection with the index.html so to make a connection between the index.html and the gulp file all you have to do is select the text control x it's gone so now we can rename this this is exactly the title so I'm just going to remove subtitle right there and just paste it within the quotes there we have it go ahead and save it and write here within the two curly brackets that's the opening and we need to close it as well going back to gulp file copying and pasting this particular title inside of the two curly braces so paste save that as well so wherever you see text and you want to change it you can go ahead and do this method and yeah that's pretty much it the same thing goes for images as well so I'm going to use another um, template for the text so that there's kind of a difference between both the original template and this template so I'm going to go ahead and actually see so this is the template that we are going to edit and make dynamic so as you can see that it's it's kind of beautiful it's very beautiful and yeah let's let's get into it so let's go ahead and change this to greenfield residence that is right here so let's copy this and paste it right here paste it so let's go ahead and save this so even if you change anything that is right here your index.html has the tag so you don't need to come back here each time in case you want to change anything at all 
you can just edit straight away from the gulf file provided the title tag that is the thing before the colon is correct and it matches in both the gulf file and the index file so make sure that is correct so once you have saved both the gulf file and the index.html so in the gulf file as you can see that it is index so all you have to do is go to uh, the windows powershell and type in gulp index that's wrong that's very wrong so my bad index yeah it should come right now using starting and finished now you can go ahead and check in this there we have it we didn't have this file before we were before editing this so now that we ran it over Windows PowerShell, we have this. So let's take a look at this.